Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story this hour. Myanmar's junta has executed four prisoners, including a former lawmaker from Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy Party. This is the country's first use of capital punishment in decades. As per reports, the four, including another prominent democracy activist, were executed for leading, quote unquote, brutal and inhumane terror acts adding that the executions were carried out under the prison's procedure without giving details of when or how how the men were killed. The junta has sentenced dozens of anti-coup activists to death since seizing power last year. The sentences came as a part of its crackdown on dissent. However, Myanmar had not carried out an execution for decades. Now, Fioze Thor, who was a former lawmaker from Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy, was arrested in November. He was sentenced to death in January for offences under the anti-terrorism laws. Thor had been accused of orchestrating several attacks on the regime forces. This includes a gun attack on a commuter train that killed five policemen in August. He was elected to parliament representing Aung San Suu Kyi's party in the 2015 elections. This ushered in a transition to civilian rule in Myanmar. The prominent democracy activist Kao Min Yu also received the same sentence from the military tribunal. Two other men were sentenced to death for killing a woman. They had alleged that she was an informer for the junta. Global leaders heavily criticized the junta when they announced their intention to carry out the executions last month. UN Secretary General condemned the junta's decision, adding that it was a blatant violation of the right to life, liberty and the security of person. The country's military alleged voter fraud during the elections in 2020. They used this as justification for their coup on the 1st of February last year. Sushi has been detained since then and faces a slew of charges in a junta court. Now, this could see her face a prison sentence of more than 150 years. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.